in this uh, uh, session, we will briefly touch about uh, the decision of investing in international or in domestic uh, real estate. This session will conclude the introductory part of the, of the course, and then uh, starting from the next session, we will have some deep dive in uh, specific uh, uh, topics of investments. The decision of investing in international real estate really has to start from an understanding of what is real estate, what role real estate plays in the portfolio of an investor. So I uh, would argue that the reason why real estate is important is because it is a substitute for sukuk. Sukuk are income products. They are extremely uh, secure because there are certain contractual arrangements which enable the holder of the sukuk to recover his capital without uh, much risk, apart from the risk of the credit uh, of the underlying counterparty, but they generate a low return. So real estate provides an income with no return of a sukuk. So if I were to put uh, uh, on a chart, the return and the risk profile of various uh, investments, I would certainly put deposits as the lowest risk and uh, lowest return. So Cook and real estate will go together and uh, ideally real estate will have a slightly higher yield of a Sukuk. Liquid Listed equities will go further uh, up on the scale and private equity will be the highest risk and the highest return for an investors. So once we have this framework in place, we can decide how to deploy our portfolio within the domestic market and the international markets. So because we want from real estate income, well, when we invest in uh, international investments, we want to go and look for real estate investments which are low risk or that can be e quickly uh, de-risked. So what do we look for when we invest in uh, international uh, real estate? The first consideration is the macroeconomic stability of our of the country where we decide to invest. The second element, which will go together with the macroeconomic stability, is the monetary policy. So, if you imagine that as a typical investor, you will have a portfolio with different currencies. Your domestic currency can be the UAE dirham, it can be the Saudi uh, Arabian rials, it, may, it can be the Malaysian uh, ringgit. So, how do you, when you decide to save and invest in your domestic currency, you will have an expected return for that currency. At the same time, you might you may decide to hold dollars in your portfolio, British pounds, euros, Canadian dollars. So the question is, the moment that you have made a decision of holding a certain portion of your portfolio in another currency, then the question comes, what do you own as an investment denominated in that currency? And real estate is, or public equities are the, the normal uh, solutions to hold an investment denominated in a foreign currency. So it is extremely important when you decide to invest in a country which is outside, uh, in a foreign country, to understand what is the macroeconomic stability of that country and the monetary policy. Because these two uh, elements affect the growth, the income of your asset, as well as the value when, of that asset when it is translated 
in, uh, into your domestic uh, currency. So usually there is this uh, definition of a, a hard currency as a uh, uh, like the US dollar. So a currency that is supposed to maintain value uh, over time. But if you invest uh, in, uh, in a country where there is a very lax monetary policy and uh, the, the value of that currency depreciates relative to your own currencies, then the investment that you have made in that, in that country, we, even if it's appreciated within the, the, the context of that country, it will lose value relative to your own uh, home currency. Now, another important element when making the decision of investing in a foreign currency is the rule of law. You are a landlord. You are renting your property to a tenant. So if the tenant for decides not to pay or doesn't want to pay the, 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 uh, the, the rent, what are your rights? as a landlord to repossess the property, to recover the uh, unpaid uh, uh, rents. And uh, it, it, when you, after you have acquired a property, what are the possibilities that someone can come and claim ownership of your property? So again, the rule of law is extremely important when decided to invest in uh, uh, internationally. Another important element is taxation. There are some many countries that impose transaction taxes when it comes to acquire or to dispose of a real estate. And this can have a significant impact on the cost of uh, investing in uh, uh, real estate. Furthermore, typically all countries will apply some form of taxation on the income and the capital gains. It, it, it is also important to uh, uh, evaluate how certain is the environment, is the, is the application of the taxation laws. You can hire an accountant, he can give you uh, 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 advice on uh, how to structure the transaction in such a way, the investment in such a way that you optimize and can predict your tax burden. But if the tax authorities uh, have uh, 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 an unpredictable uh, behavior, all your planning can be uh, upset. Also, it is extremely important to evaluate whether you can actually repatriate your capital after you have invested. So there are a number of countries that uh, impose uh, uh, capital controls. So they may accept you as an investor when you go and buy a property, but the moment that you try to repatriate uh, your capital, they might impose uh, 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 a restriction. So then that doesn't work very well as a strategy to preserve your, uh, uh, your capital. And finally, the liquidity. Yes, it's true that invest, real estate investments are long-term investments and they are, they are uh, supposed to be held primarily for income. But it is always possible that you uh, may need to sell uh, an asset for a number of reasons. Uh, you want to rebalance your portfolio, you want to uh, uh, increase uh, your uh, liquidity, therefore you need to uh, repatriate capital. How easy is to sell uh, an asset, the property, after you have bought it? Now, uh, 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 the liquidity uh, of uh, uh, real estate can be uh, determined by two players, the domestic players and the international players. Typically, 
the domestic players will be active on smaller type of assets. And the international players will be uh, focusing mainly on larger assets or larger portfolios. Usually $50 million, it's a good uh, 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 line in the sand of below which international investors will not go. Now, when investing in a country, it's extremely important to select the sector with the highest type of liquidity to avoid that when is the time to exit an investment, there are no buyers.